Good morning all, my name is Patrice Davis and I am here to do a brief presentation on the WIOA program. I want to first of all just congratulate you for making it this far and we are looking forward to you being our future nurses. So the WIOA program is a federally funded grant that is designed to help people to complete training that will assist them in finding high quality jobs and careers. Some of the barriers that people may face when they are looking for in-demand jobs and careers are a lack of marketable skills. They may have limited English profici proficiency, proficiency such as I do right now. Uh, if they have a poor work history or a background of poverty with uh, poor job search or interview skills. So WIOA is uh, there to help those people, like I said, get that training that they need and help them with their interview skills and job searching and just trying to find ways to assist them financially. In order to qualify for WIOA, you have to meet just a few short criteria the main things are that you live in our service area. We do have some students who do not live in our service area that we are able to help because they attend Central Georgia Tech in one of our WIOA approved programs. So if you don't live in our service area that's listed here, still try to reach out and see if you can receive assistance because we may be able to help you or direct you in the right uh, to the right person. Another qualification is to complete at least one semester of school, and that is in order to assess a GPA for you. Your GPA must be at least a 2.5. Uh, you must be in one of the WIOA approved programs that we cover. We normally cover degrees and diplomas. WIOA is for people who are seeking full-time employment. We don't want to enable you to go out and just try to start your own business because most uh, self-made businesses do fail in the first few years. So we want you to find full-time employment with an employer. Uh, you should have some type of prior work experience that we can draw on. And that's just so that we can determine what is your skill level. And again, if you don't have prior work experience, do not let that deter you. Still reach out and see if you can qualify. If you are low income or unemployed or receiving government assistance, those things will increase your chances of receiving WIOA assistance. These are the WIOA programs that uh, we cover here at Central Georgia Technical College. So even though you are in our nursing program, we do cover a long list of other programs. So if you have friends that are attending school here or even thinking of attending school with Central Georgia Tech, have them reach out to us and see what um, what is their interest, what their programs are that they're looking into going into, and if WIOA will be able to assist them. WIOA will pay for your tuition and fees, your textbooks, and your uniforms and tools. These are things that in most situations they pay for upfront. Absolutely, your tuition fees and textbooks and uniforms are paid for upfront. But there are some tools that you may need that is not covered in your tuition that WIOA will assist you in obtaining, such as a stethoscope. Um, we do cover shots, immunizations, your background checks, your fingerprinting, your licensing exams. For those items, WIOA does require that you pay for them up front and then submit paperwork to me, and we will reimburse you that money that you have put out. It normally takes approximately a month. It just depends on what's going on, especially in a situation where we just had all of the holidays that um, were falling there at the end of the year, and it was a little hard to keep up with all of the processing. So but it normally does take about a month to get reimbursed for costs that you have to um, do out of pocket. Some frequently asked questions that people normally have about WIOA. Do you have to apply for financial aid? WIOA does require that you apply for financial aid or other grants. If you are a veteran, they do require that if you are eligible to receive a uh, vocational rehab, then you go that direction and then request assistance from WIOA. 
WIOA is a supplemental grant that is given to you after all of your financial aid has been exhausted, then WIOA will kick in and start paying for your costs. Your low income designation is based on your family size and the poverty guidelines that are set by the Department of Health and Human Services. Unemployed meaning that you were you lost your job and it was not your own fault if there was a closure or just a lack of work and the employer was unable to um, can keep you on then yes that considered that is considered unemployed reach out to us receiving unemployment income does not disqualify you from receiving WIOA assistance and you can contact me this is my phone number, my email address. I am on the Warner Robins campus in the A building right down the hall from our admissions area. On our Macon campus, we have Ms. Terry Booker, and you can contact her if you are interested in trying to receive WIOA assistance. We do have just a short pre-screening form that we do just to get more information about you. If anyone has ever received any sort of government assistance, you know that they ask every single question you could ever think of and they get all of your business and WIOA is no different. So we are going to ask every question to assess your eligibility, but do not, again, let that deter you. Please reach out to us and see if there's any way that we can help you uh, receive this assistance that we have available. And that is the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please uh, just reach out to me. Yes, I am just seeing your questions, Ms. Gilbert. Yes, I did have a presentation. It was a short PowerPoint, but I think I covered everything. I can leave my email address here in your chat so that you can reach out to me and my phone number since that was a part of the presentation and it did not show up. And that concludes my presentation. If you have any questions, please uh, ask and I will do my best to answer. Everyone's situation is different. So don't, don't look at someone else's situation and say, well, they were not approved for WIOA, so I won't be either. Reach out to me, we'll work and see what we can do for you, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gilbert. Does, does anyone have any questions? questions? Do you have to be a full-time student? Yes, but because of the way the health programs are set up, we understand if you cannot have 12 credit hours per semester because they are set up in, I think it's called block scheduling, where you only take certain classes this semester, certain classes the following semester. Right. So that is not a deterrence. Reach out and right. we can talk. Okay, great. If you have a what? A loan. Would a loan, um, another loan that she has, would that disqualify her from also seeking WIOA assistance? No, it will not. Okay. If they're not eligible for financial aid, if they were denied, would they... Um, be also denied from WIA or still try? They can still try. It's just going to depend on their situation. Mm -hmm. It's different factors and it's not the same factors that FASMA does, right? That is correct. Any other questions? I'll copy and post her thing on the slide while y'all have a break. Um, some of y'all I know are still trying to finish that ATI. That way you can get her information. Good. All right. Thank, well, you. thank you, Ms. Gilbert. If there's anything I can help you guys with, just reach out and let me know. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.